like to ask uh, Ora, but before we welcome our guest, I'd like to ask our choir to start off with a, an item. I'd like to welcome our guests. Um, we have two important people here today that took time out of their busy lives. Mr. Neil De Beer and Mr. Khalid Sayed. And just before I give over to Mr. Neil De Beer to do his speech and to Mr. Khalid, I'd like to leave you with a wise quote from Nelson Mandela um, when he said, education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. And education is so important. And if you want to shape a community and if you want to shape society, um, you can do it by shaping society and by empowering and helping our learners out. You see, this is where this is where it begins. You see, this is where this is If there's one thing we know, it is that we all started here. But there's one thing I want to tell you today. I am a proudly, vehemently aggressive South African. I am a patriot of this country. Now here's an interesting thing I'm going to teach you. Three things today before I go. Number one, no one is born a racist. Your generation can never live ever again apart from Number two, which is even more vital than number one. School, knowledge and education is the biggest weapon to fight poverty and to fight indignity in the world. And that Mandela also said. So the last thing I want to teach the school, are you ready to get number three? Yes. Are you ready for number three? Yes. So number one was never go back to apartheid. Number two was be educated and here's the last one. Our country's slogan. These are the three principles that we need to move on with. You're a stunning school. You're a brilliant school. Go on with what you are doing. Aluta, continua. And as I said to the principal, this is not goodbye for me. That is the blessings. I will be back. We will be doing good things with you. All the blessings. Shukran for the opportunity. Go back and fight. Premier, a member of provincial parliament, the Tata Nelson Mandela was the founder of what is called the ANC Youth League in the 1940s. They set up this organization, the organization that Comrade Loran is from, to take on the apartheid state. They saw that the older people, the older people were sitting back at that time, the leaders of the ANC, they didn't want to fight the apartheid government, they were wanting to talk and talk. But Mandela and them were young and they set up this youth league to fight, to take on apartheid. They were like you, they were young people. What does it show? Is that without young people, without young people taking the lead, we will not be anywhere. Our country would not have been where it is today. If we've got challenges at home, if people outside are saying anything, it's your first line of defense and motivation must be each other. So I want to thank you yet again. You've got a great future ahead. Don't neglect it. This is not the first and the last. This is not the last time that you are going to see me at this school, Mr. Jacobs. We'll be with you. We'll support you. And definitely, even in Parliament, I will mention this particular school. But as I end up on to make an offer, which I started, to say that what I've started since being a member of the Provincial Parliament is we want to give learners the opportunity 
to come and do a tour of the provincial parliament. Let us together say, as Nelson Mandela used to end off his speeches, let us say, Amandla!